Hi friends, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I will be joining in an open challenge hosted by Chantel from Crafty Hints, Amanda from Six Kids in a Glue Gun, and Brenda from Rustic in Lace. Today it's called we gift you a Merry Christmas and we are to make three or more gifts or gift baskets. And I am gonna be gathering up some items for gift baskets. So let's get started. Hi everyone. First thing I am gonna make in my video today is a sugar, uh, brown sugar scrub for your hands or your body and I'll be adding them to these cute little mason jars that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna put a label on there. Not sure how I'm gonna do the label yet, but I will be making two of them today. So all you need is some coconut oil. Today I'm just using the Dollar General brand coconut oil. I just used up what I have. So I have roughly about uh, one cup, a little over, cause I you know, had a little bit left in my jar uh two cups of brown sugar so it's two to one two sugar one oil and you can use almond oil um i believe i think those are the only two oils that most people use but anyway and then i'm just going to use a dash of vanilla extract if you guys have not tried this mexican vanilla blend i get this from amazon these make this vanilla makes your cookies taste delicious. It, I think it's just got a stronger flavor of vanilla for the price. So yeah, I recommend this vanilla and look at the big jar you get. Okay, so anyway, rambling again. <laughs> Let's do it, Laura. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, I'm, I've already got everything measured, like I said, so I'm just gonna put my sugar in here. And I'm just going to use my Ninja Bullet, but you can use a blender or a food processor for this processor. You can also, also do it by hand, but it's going to take you a long, long time. And if you find any lumps in your brown sugar, take them out. They're just going to slow you down. <laughs> so here I'm just adding my sugar, like I said. I don't know where that accent came from. Okay, this is going to be way too big. Did I do two cups? Oh, I did two and a half cups. Well, no wonder I'm such a ding dingling. Okay, I'm gonna have to take about a half a cup out of this here. I mean, you don't have, it's just kind of a, 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 what is that word I'm using for? You don't have to be exact on your measurements because you might, you know, just depending on the consistency, you might have to add a little more, a little less sugar anyway but just to uh, make my life easier, I'm just gonna take about half a cup out of there. All right, just like so. And then, well, I thought I was gonna be able to get away with my smaller uh, salsa blender, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this big one just in case I do have to, um, you know, add some more. This is, this is just gonna make a mess. So I'm gonna pour this. And then I'm going to add the coconut oil, just like that. Okay. Yeah, I, I normally use a food processor. I just didn't want to uh, get all, get my food processor out yet. You know, I will pretty soon because it's, you know, becoming that time to, oops, becoming that time, right, to, uh, Uh, make stuffing and all that good stuff. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna put my lid on there, put my Ninja machine on top, and I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna mute the sound so it doesn't bother anyone. Um, and I'm gonna check and see if I'm in frame here. And let's see, there we go. A little bit better. So I'm just gonna turn it on and let it go.
Okay, I poured mine into a bowl and mixed it uh, the rest of the way. And there I'm showing you my hands are nice and soft because I used them already. And I'm just gonna transfer the scrub into my little mason jars and they'll be ready to go. And then for this same basket, I want to make a succulent, um, but I want to juice it up a little bit. I have two of these candle holders and they match. So one will be a candle and one will be a succulent. So what I did is I cut down a pool noodle and then I sliced it and just took out a bit, squished it together and wrapped some masking tape around it to make it narrower to fit inside my candle holder. So that's what that's looking like there. And then I'm gonna take these little pebbles from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna spread them down on a piece of uh, parchment paper here. And I'm just gonna start gluing them on to the sides of this pool noodle. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah, spend my time. I used some tweezers to get in those spots that I missed just like so it was a lot easier than um, using my fingers I did burn myself a couple times so yeah I just got out the tweezers and once I filled all the spaces, now I'm just gonna squish it right into that candle holder, just like that. Isn't that cute? And now to cover up the pool noodle that is showing there on the top, I'm gonna take some floral moss and I'm just gonna glue that right down to that pool noodle. All that was left to do is add some glue to the stem of that succulent plant and just stick that down right in the hole of the pool noodle and this succulent is done. I think it came out so pretty and it matches that candle holder and I'll be adding a, a ivory candle to that and it'll make a little set. And here's the basket and all the items that I'll be adding to it. There's the set, the succulents and the candle. I think that came out really nice. I have a relax sign here. I have a candle snuffer outer. I have some scrub, the lotion, some face spray and some body scrub. I have some bath bombs there and a body sponge. So that's what I'll be adding to my basket here. And this basket I got from the, do uh, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I got it from the thrift store. And I got out my big box that I, I buy them when I see them. And the Christmas time is the perfect time to use up your baskets. So now I'm gonna add some of this decorative shred from the Dollar Tree, it's the red one. And I'm just gonna add that to the bottom and just kind of stuff it around and use it, you know, to kind of hold things up a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing here. And then I, I made a little sticker label from the Dollar Tree, added it to my sugar scrub. Now, after thinking about it, I should have added some directions on how to use the sugar scrub. So I'll probably have to add that to the outside of my basket because I already put this together. So I thought about it afterwards <laughs> while I was editing. So here I'm just gonna start adding my items and I'll play some music and uh, yeah, show you how I uh, made this basket for a special someone. I added that bath sponge to the handle just to give it, you know, some character here. And I'm gonna be adding some pine cones that I have in my stash. I'll be using two pine cones. Now those I got from the Dollar Tree, see there? They're just picks. And I'm just gonna cut that wire down and stick it there, one on each side. And then I added two more, two smaller ones 
um, from a pick that I had left over, added those to the basket, and then I'll be adding a burlap bow right to the handle as well. The sugar scrub was sitting down too low. I wanted to show it uh, um, uh, more prominently in my basket. So I'm gonna take a piece of pool noodle. I'm just gonna stick it on the bottom there just to raise that sugar scrub up um, so you can see it better. And there I am adding that burlap bow to the handle. I named this basket, Just Relax. I like to tape down the sides of my cellophane basket with some scotch tape. Thank you so much, Chantel, Amanda, and Brenda for hosting this challenge again this month. I am having so much fun with these challenges. Um, I'll have their channels as well as the playlist linked in my description box. Can you please do me a favor and go check everybody's channels out and you know show them some love and support and get lots and lots of ideas for Christmas gifts this year. Okay, for my last basket, I'll be using some more of that scrub. I put this one in this mason jar from the Dollar Tree with the white and black buffalo check. That basket I got from a thrift store and I painted it with white satin paint by Rust-Oleum. And here I'm just gonna make a label for this mason jar and it just says brown sugar scrub. Again, I should have put the directions on it. I thought about it afterwards, but I'll just add it to the top of the basket. And here I'm gonna take one of those little tiny uh, spoons from the catering section at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add that to my mason jar using some white and black twine here. I'm just gonna tie the string around the mouth of the jar here, tie it in a knot, and then I'll just tie that little spoon just like so. We can hang out on the beach with our freezing. Isn't that cute? I love it. And this basket I painted with Rust-Oleum satin paint, like I said, and the reason I use that particular paint is because I don't want any chipping and that Rust-Oleum paint is very, very good for wicker and plastic. So here I am going showing you, I put some matches in this little bottle here for the candle. I have some socks. I have two candles. I have this hair mask that I'll be adding to this basket. I have some conditioner and shampoo as well. I got all those from the Dollar Tree. This is a great way to use up all of my, not all, but a lot of my Dollar Tree items that I haul in videos. If you um, are interested in Dollar Tree hauls, I also have those on my channel. And here I have two of those cranberry candles that I'm going to add here. I'm going to add the little matches on top and I'm just going to play around. I have some um, soaps, uh, bath salts here. And so if you have not noticed, my basket for this one is going to be called Spa Day. <laughs> I have another candle snuffer outer. That's a really pretty color. It is like a rose gold and it matches the lids on those candles. So I thought that would be really nice. So I just took it out of the package and I'm here, I'm just trying to situate it where I think it looks good. I was gonna use that incense, I decided not to. So here I'm just gonna play around and see what fits. And I think I ended up only putting one candle in there cause I wanted to use those bath salts. And again, to raise my uh, brown sugar scrub, I'm gonna add a another pool noodle, but because you can see through the little cracks in this wicker basket, I'm going to add some masking tape around that pool noodle, you know, so you don't see any of the green. So that's what I'm doing here. I'll add that in like that. And there we go. See the scrub fits much nicer and you can get a better feel of what's in this little basket. So here I'm gonna have some uh, foot masks and I'm gonna set those in there. And then I will start adding some details. I'm gonna take some black and white ribbon and I'm gonna add that all the way around the basket, adding a cute little bow in the front and that just made everything cohesive. This is my favorite basket that I made today. I really think this looks store-bought. I love it. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas. 
I used some little glue dots to kind of hold things down while I was putting things together before I, you know, the plastic bag will hold things together, but just to keep them in place while I work, I did use little glue dots, um, the little puffy ones, um, and you know, places here and there. I even used it on the ribbon to keep that in place as well. And yeah. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around I have these fuzzy little socks that I want to add and here you're gonna see me um, just kind of playing around and getting a feel of where I think things look good so if you make your baskets this year just play around and make it your own there's no one way to these baskets, and that's what I love about it. Just play around and have fun. I added another bag to this, or added the basket to a bag, I should say. I tied it with that same black and white cord here. I added a tag that says spa day, and this basket's done. For my last basket I'll be making in this video, I got this Pyrex basket from a thrift store. It is one of those baskets to protect your counter when your cake pan is hot. You just set it in there. Um, so I thought that would be nice for this basket. I'm gonna add some of that decorative shred to the bottom just like that. And to keep it with the kitchen theme, I'm gonna be adding some hot cocoa. I have some here in the, I just added them to a bag that I got from Dollar General last year with the red and white stripes. And I just added some to the bottom and one sticking out so you can see what it is and just made it all cute. And then I'll add some of this Jim Beam coffee that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I also have some tea. Now those came in a little pack. There's four boxes in there and it says mother needs a break. I thought that was so cute. So I'll be adding this candle here. And then I also have a cranberry candle that I didn't use in my last basket. I'll just add it to this one, just like that. And then of course that sugar scrub, I made a, a tag for this one as well. I'm gonna add it just like so. I have some little mini candy canes that I added to a plastic mason jar. And I'll put that in there. And what else do I got here? I have a little ornament. It's a Oh, and I, I added another candle, it looks like. I guess I had an extra. <laughs> and let's see, I put some more matches in one of those little bottles, those mini bottles from the Dollar Tree. And here I'm just playing around, just like I did with all the others. I have another candle uh, flame snuffer, and I'm just gonna add that somehow in there. And I also have this cute little snowman mug that I wanna add to this basket. I think it's so adorable. So here I'm just gonna play around. And uh, let's see, I have this ornament. It's a little uh, stocking and it has some detail on it, but I'm gonna add some berries just to give it some color. It has some little tiny pine cones and some pine uh, branches in there. So here I'm just gonna add some, just like that, just something, you know, just to give it, make it pop a little bit. I'm gonna add that in there. And then I'm gonna take this ribbon, it's beautiful. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It's from Ofre, but, and I think you can get this at Walmart as well. And it says Merry Christmas on it, all you know throughout the ribbon. So I'm gonna add that to the sides of this um, basket, uh, making sure the Merry Christmas, you, you know, is um, right side up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to redo it. <laughs> so I just added that around and, I did use some of those puffy stickers and just to make sure that they're, you know, straight, the ribbon was straight. And then I just um, secured it in the back with some scotch tape.
And all that was left to add is to add my basket to a cellophane bag. And this basket, it, I've got to say, wasn't my favorite packaging. It was okay, but I think it could be better. So I may change it up before I do give it away. Um, I just added some red and white cord to this one to tie it up and just to go with that red and white theme that I have in this basket. And this basket I named Relax, Take a Break. Coffee break, cocoa break, tea break, you know, yeah. So there it is there, that tag. And I'm just going to add that tag and snip off the excess uh, cellophane on the top. And we'll be done with this one. Okay, that's going to do it for my video today. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope I have inspired you. I hope I have given you some ideas for some uh, gift giving this year. I just love making Christmas baskets, especially when you personalize them. It just makes the other person feel so cared about when they receive a basket of all the things that they love. It's just an awesome feeling for both the giver and the receiver. Okay, enough rambling from me. I'll talk to everyone in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. Okay, bye for now. Stay well.